Um, if you're not getting a right amount of exercise, uh, yeah. you're going to have slower results healing. So we actually insert ourselves into every aspect of people's lives, right? And that's why I love having you there too, baby, because you know being able to give people ideas on how to do an exercise if they have arthritis mm -hmm. or ways to help themselves still achieve their goals. Well, we're just about a day away from starting our uh, next six week healing group. And uh, we're, uh, first thing we have to do is we have to organize all of the new group members and all of their issues, all of their symptoms, what their diseases are, and kind of do a little run through to figure out what we've uh, seen before and what, uh, what strategy we use to try to reverse that disease or those illnesses and see if there's anything new that we haven't seen before. I mean, at the end of the day, the nutrition protocol is going to be the same pretty much for everybody. But every now and again, we run into some cases that need a little special attention. So what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to run through what uh, the ones that have been organized so far, and uh, that'll help you kind of get a little insight into how we, how we approach the healing and the rever disease reversal process. Uh, so, all right, Brooke, uh, the first one I see here, we got blood markers for lupus and clotting, but not symptomatic. Yeah, so um, so I've been looking over her chart, and really what she's saying is that she's now scared because her, her blood markers have turned positive for lupus and other autoimmune, but she's not got anything like rashes or arthritis or anything. So she's going to be fairly straight up. We're going to go full protocol and just get the inflammation down so she can revert back again. I, I did message her as well to just see if there's any symptoms we can track. Cause I like to know if that, you know, fatigue, brain fog, anything. Cause usually if you've got the blood markers, there's something going on. So I'm waiting to hear back from her about that. Okay. Here, here's another one. We got uh, lupus, hepatitis A, lightheaded, tired, crawl out of skin. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So lupus and hepatitis A. So we have to look at there's inflammatory liver disease, in addition to lupus, the cool thing is the liver usually responds faster than the uh, even the lupus does. So we've had other people in the group with liver disease, so that's going to be great. Now, the crawling out of her skin thing, I'm going to explore with that because that can come from liver disease where they actually have issues with their skin uh, versus if it's anxiety. Um, and then we'll be able to plan more. Are we going to do a lot of the mental, emotional work to help her with that? Or is this actually just a physical symptom? So I'll get to know her better and find out about that. Since I'm not a medical doctor, um, what I need Brooke to do is to help kind of translate for me what these things mean in terms of how we may need to modify the nutrition strategy. So what my primary role is in the group is I help make sure that everybody is executing their diet 100% correct. So they submit a log every single day and then I look through at least half of them and give feedback. Hey, you did this right, you did this right, you did this wrong, you need to change that, and you eat this instead of that, eat more of this, eat less of that, so on and so forth. But then there's gonna be certain diseases that some people have or certain symptoms that people have where we gotta do a little modification. So Brooke's job is to, in addition to helping oversee all of the logs that I didn't see, she's gotta tell me what little tweaks that I need to look out for so when I'm giving my feedback, I'm giving the right feedback. Okay, next one. MCTD lupus Sjogren's. So what, what is it? MCTD? Yeah. <laughs> so uh, MCTD is mixed connective tissue disease. So that's for a lot of folks, they have symptoms of a lot of different autoimmune diseases. So they just get that kind of overarching name of mixed connective tissue disease. So she obviously, she wrote lupus and Sjogren's as well, but sounds like she probably might have some markers for scleroderma, some other stuff mixed in as well, which is common. Um, so she's going to be just the normal straight up approach. And Tom Great. undersells what he does too, because I mean, if you guys follow my husband, Thomas, you know, he shares the stage with Tony Robbins regularly. He's really good at helping people figure out how they hold themselves back from success. Now he does that in business, but it's the same thing in health, right? People hold themselves back all the time. And he's really good at helping people see how they stop themselves. And we both do that. I have kind of the softer, more motherly approach. Let's explore your feelings. And he's more kind of, here's what you're doing, you need to see it. And uh, people really appreciate that. They said we're kind of yin and yang. Well, you know, sometimes you get held by your mother and sometimes you get a little bit of a, you know, <laughs> smack to the face or dub, like, hey, what are you doing? But it really works for people and, and it's a nice combination. And some people need more of one than the other, but um, you do a lot for them. You Thanks. You really do. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, you know, the thing about the group is the, the information that, uh, that we use to heal, Brooke gives that out for free. Every time, every eight weeks she does her free classes 
She gives the information out for free and it's in her book too. The whole protocol is laid out in the book. And what happens is we, we have countless numbers of people that read the book and go to the classes and that alone, they're able to completely reverse their disease and heal themselves. Those aren't the people that we work with. The people that we work with attempted that and for some reason they couldn't get themselves to reverse their disease as when they come to us. Well, I'd say about 90% of that is some sort of issue with their actions and habits and psychology that's keeping them from not quite executing the protocol perfectly. And so that's why uh, Brooke and I, you've got a licensed board certified psychiatrist in addition to an MD and an expert in reversing disease at scale. And then myself, I'm, more, I'm a mindset person and a coach and it's easy for me to see people's own mistakes and actions and habits that are keeping them from doing what they're supposed to. Not even, not even looking at the, uh, the intricacies of any particular disease, just look at the habits of eating what you're supposed to eat, getting the right amounts in, accomplishing what you need to at the end of the day. Those little subtle things add up and make a difference between whether you heal or not. So I have a I, good one for that actually yeah, because that? the next one you see there is someone who so she's read my book and gone to the classes and then she actually had an this appointment with me. Uh, oh. No, the one after that. So she um, so lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, fibromyalgia, Osteo, deformities, um, sleep issues, issues, anxiety, depression, memory, memory issues. issues. So she actually started with making an appointment with me. Um, and I gave her a personalized plan so people can make an appointment with me where I go, I spend at least an hour with you, sometimes more than an hour going through, here's exactly what I want you to do step-by-step step, personalized for you. And she did that and she's still not doing it. So when you've got a detailed plan in your hand and you still don't do it, there's other issues there. So, um, we're going to explore that with her. You know, what is it that made it so that you couldn't do this? Right? So is it, um, emotional issues? Is it not getting enough support? You know, is it self-sabotage? Mm. So uh, we have a lot of people do that too, who they really try on their own and they just can't make it even after they get their own plan. And so they end up in the group because they know it's going to help when they do it right. Even for a few days, yeah. there's someone I saw like that today. She, when she does exactly what I teach, she, all of her symptoms go away, but then she just keeps going off plan. Right. So yep. that's all here. That's all. Yeah, that's, so that's what I'm saying. People need both of us, the combination of the two. So when I'm speaking on stage, I'm sharing the stage with Anthony Robbins and guys like Gary Vee and the guys from Shark Tank. Uh, my topic is the secret psychology of success. And I'm mostly teaching from a financial angle. And what's so fascinating is that the same things that hold people back from achieving more financial success in their life is the exact same stuff that keeps these people in this group from achieving the health that they want in their lives. So Brooke and I were able to identify that from a mile away and then we expose that and then we give people the coaching and the solutions they need to get through that. We have two ladies in the group who want to have uh, babies. Uh, one there it of, is, lupus, wants baby, last baby was high risk. Right, and then there's another one you can see towards the bottom, has a five-year-old but wants to get uh, healthy so she can have another baby. So uh, when you have autoimmune disease, it is very high risk to have a baby. Uh, you have a high risk of blood clots, organ failure for your disease to get worse. And the worst thing is I've had moms who contact me who they just had a baby, they're stuck in the hospital while their baby goes home without them. It is just the worst thing in the world to be exhausted and in pain and not be able to take care of your baby. So I always tell people, get healthy first, right? Get healthy first, then get pregnant. Um, and so I love doing this. I have actually healed multiple women while pregnant, but the difficulty with that is you have to actually eat to heal. And if you're someone like me who throws up a lot, well, it's hard to heal you. So I'd rather get the ladies who are ready to get healthy first because then you can have a great pregnancy, healthy delivery, um, and there's less barriers. So I'm excited. They have good goals, and so they're going to be motivated too. I like when people have a clear goal in their head that we can keep reminding them of yep. when they're struggling. So well, we got know, a couple of those. So over the past several months, we are the number of requests that have come through from people that need that want help being able to have a successful pregnancy that has gone through the roof. I mean, I'll start with Brooke with her story, we had our first baby, even though all the doctors said, no, don't do it. You're going to kill yourself. You're going to kill the baby. And we had a successful pregnancy and Tomlin came through and then we had a second baby and the same thing. It was a perfect flawless pregnancy. Both times Brooke's health was absolutely perfect. Not even one sign of lupus came back and it was as if she didn't even have the disease anymore. And so since that we've had a few, uh, a few clients that have come through our programs and they've been able to have successful pregnancies without any of the disease symptoms coming back at all. So now we've got more people coming to us 
trying to say, realizing, oh my gosh, these people know how to help others reverse their disease enough so that they can have a successful pregnancy. And people are having children now that normally wouldn't have children. That is against the advice of most of their doctors and their healthcare providers. And here's the cool thing. Here's the, here's the thing I want you to really understand. So Brooke and I, we don't reverse the disease. What we do is we coach people on how to optimize their nutrition so finally their own body can reverse the disease for them. That's how this whole process works. It just happens to be that the human body is so magnificently powerful that once you give it the right ingredients, it acts so quickly and works so fast, faster than any medication that's out there. It's just pure nutrition, but it's all the nutrition that the body needs, not just a portion of it. And that's that's why most people stay stuck and, and unhealed is they're, they're, they're missing a good large portion of the nutrition that all of their cells in their body needs. And what we do is we coach them on how to get all the nutrition. Plus we give the rest of it, right? So mm. the other part is when you have high stress, you're gonna have more inflammation. Um, if you're not getting a right amount of exercise, uh, yeah. you're going to ha have slower results healing. So we actually insert ourselves into every aspect of people's lives, right? And that's why I love having you there too, baby, because you know being able to give people ideas on how to do an exercise if they have arthritis mm -hmm. or ways to help themselves still achieve their goals. Because some people go, oh, I have arthritis, I can't work out. And you're like, well, you have arthritis in your knees. That's Let's right. look at your upper body. So. We, we find whatever it is uh, that's holding them back in. Hey, if, if you ever heard mental, emotional, spiritual, you know, it sounds kind of like woo-woo stuff to a lot of, a lot of people, but I, I'm a practical woo-wooist is the best way to kind of describe <laughs> it because it gets the results. It's really, it actually is true. What we've seen, not, be, not what we theorize or hypothesize or uh, romanticize, what happens is when the happier we get our clients, the faster they heal. That's just, it's just what we see happen. And I mean, it's dramatic too. And the more they take care of their physical body, that means the more exercise they get, the faster they heal. Those are the ones that heal and reverse these crazy diseases that have been part of their lives for some, in some cases, more than a decade. All of a sudden it's gone in just a, a few short weeks. Um, so physical, and emotional and spiritual. So there's a large requirement for meditation and doing activities that create blissful happiness mm -hmm. on a daily basis. And again, people that do that, that really go all in on that, they heal the fastest every single time. It's not an accident, it's just reality. Yeah, and actually the medical science has caught up with that, that we've shown yeah. that there's actual medical clinical benefits you see in people who have meditation, people who are happier. Uh, we've shown now in lab tests that people with depression and anxiety have higher inflammation markers. And unfortunately what doctors have come up with is, oh, well maybe we should give people with depression, you know, corticosteroids, we can lower their inflammation. Goes, no, 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 there's, yeah. so many, there's so many better ways to do that. Um, so that's a huge part of it. And I think that's been one of the great gifts for most yeah. people when they say that they feel so much better in every way. My favorite was Jeannie in the case studies when she said, I don't have less stress in my life. I just don't experience it the same way anymore. It doesn't affect me the way it used to. And yes. that's what it's really about. Yeah. So we have another, uh, some other cool ones. We have a couple people with eating disorders. One is an overeating disorder, which when it comes to our foods, they can eat as much as they want, but she might have a lot of cravings. And another one, uh, I didn't get to market here yet, also told me that she actually has had issues with bulimia. So that's going to be something to watch out with Okay, too. here's one. So the one that you mentioned before that wants to get pregnant, deliver a healthy baby, but she also wants to heal a five-year-old kid with eczema. So let's yes. talk about really quickly like what the results that we being able to help people get with eczema. Well, eczema, the, the, the most common trigger for eczema is dairy. So most folks, once they give up dairy products, the eczema disappears within a couple of weeks. I mean, it's really fast. So I don't know what she's been feeding herself or her kid, um, but I love that she added that. She's in the group to heal herself, but she's gonna pass on what she's learning and, and try to heal her, her kid as well. Okay, and you know what's crazy is that we, it's, it's common for us to see clients that come in that have huge number of illnesses and symptoms and they've had them for a long time, yet at the same time, it's so normal and common for us to just see all of those get wiped out within just a few, a few weeks sometimes. Sometimes it takes a few months. Like here's an example, hair loss, dandruff, rash, headaches, brain fog, chest tightness, muscle spasms, stomach aches, constipation, itchy dry skin, low energy, slow wound healing, sore and achy back. Right. And uh, he's someone who uh, hasn't had an official diagnosis yet. And that's frustrating for a lot of people. I mean, obviously this person is miserable. You hear those symptoms, you go, this is awful, right? Achy and dry and all these different things, rashy. 
and doctors go, well, your labs look okay. I guess you're fine. Maybe you should talk to a shrink, right? Um, so obviously this person is very sick, but it's not uh, diagnosable as a, he doesn't have a, a diagnosis stamped on his forehead yet, which is fine because he can reverse that stuff. All of those things. I mean, when you get your body healthy, you know, and you really nourish yourself well and hydrate yourself well, your skin's going to get better. It's going to heal the dryness. Constipation, no problem. I mean, he'll be pooping like a champ. Um, Energy is usually one of the first things to come back, usually in the second week. Wound healing, oh my gosh. I mean, that's one of the things that I, I noticed. You know, I had to have C-sections because my first son was butt first, uh, so I couldn't deliver him. And so, um, but I was up walking around the same day and mm. my wounds healed so fast. And I, I, my, my OBGYN said she's never seen someone who heals so quickly like I do, but it's all nourishment. When I had lupus, I couldn't even heal a pimple. I had a pimple that turned into an ulcer that was like this big. I still have a scar from it. And now you can cut open my belly and it just zips itself back closed again. So all of that stuff, I expect to see improvements and I think he's gonna be really happy. Here's another one, uh, hypothyroid overeating disorder. Yeah, and she has the antibodies against her thyroid, so it's autoimmune, you know? Autoimmune, so, yeah, yeah. no problem. So Normal. hypothyroid, underactive thyroid, and you know what was great is the overeating disorder, we're, the, the nutrition strategy alone is going to solve that part of the problem too because uh, a lot of times with people that have issues with overeating, it, it really boils down to the fact that they're just not getting enough nutrients. I mean, they're eating, they're eating a lot of foods, but they're not getting all the nutrients that their body needs. So when we combine our strategy where we're gonna be over-nourishing, hyper-nourishing, she's gonna feel more satisfying than she ever had in her entire life. And when we do the uh, work on self-care, which is adding happiness to one's life and exercise, what's gonna happen is any cravings that she has for foods that aren't working for her, they're gonna just start to go away. We're not even really gonna to have to spend much time uh, dealing with that. That problem is gonna just kind of fix itself on its own. We have a food intolerance person, so um, that's one of the last ones you see there. So she's got a lot of food. Tendinitis, depression, anxiety, panic attacks. Mm -hmm. Yep. So food intolerances. So that's something a lot of people who have chronic inflammation, it's more and more lately, babe, is that we're seeing a lot of people that have so many allergies and they start out with, they didn't have them when they were young and then all of a sudden they react to this food and then mm -hmm. that food and then this food and then they have severe allergies and then it gets worse and worse. And it's really, it's dysfunctional immune system, right? Yeah. So autoimmunity is when your immune system attacks you, but this is also abnormal immunity. Your, your immune system's getting involved when you're eating something that should be healthy, right? So, um, so we're just gonna make sure, go through all of our intolerances and just pick out the healing foods that, that she can eat. And we've had so many people actually reverse their allergies in the group. I mean, sometimes they, they test it before I want to. Remember the banana eating bonanza? We had two people that were allergic bananas that decided on week five to eat them and neither of them had allergies anymore, but they scared me. I'm like, yeah. not yet. And, uh, and so countless numbers of people with avocado allergies that they started off being deathly, deathly ill when it came to eating any bit of avocado, right. throat would close, you know, brain, like skin would swell up and everything. And then suddenly, once we optimize their nutrition, they're no longer allergic to that same food. It's, it's like, awesome. you know, the immune system can't tell the difference be, uh, between a healthy food and a bacteria that's in their body, right? So <laughs> that tells you that there's something seriously wrong. Right. And the root of it is nutrition. Yeah, and then for the mood symptoms, I mean, we're, we'll be doing all the emotional work. And we've had people who, um, we had somebody who's had anxiety all of her life. And she did the group and she said for the first time in her life, she didn't have anxiety anymore. Now, I don't want this to substitute for getting the regular, the mental health care you need. And she actually still had a therapist who was impressed. But a lot of her anxiety was around her health. And by helping her really feel anchored and confident in how she could take care of herself, a lot of those uh, worries went away. So um, we have a really good group and still, we still have a bunch more uh, that still have to send me the rest of their information. But we are starting this Saturday. So I'm really excited to get So Friday folks. or Saturday? Friday is our first meeting. Saturday is day meeting. one of eating. All right, great. So the, so. Plan, is, the plan is to uh, document as much as we can behind the scenes of this journey. So that way you can follow along and you kind of see, see how, uh, how we do this how we help people, how we coach them. Hopefully you can glean some insights from that a little bit. And then obviously the outcomes at the end. So we're super excited because what we typically see after about two to three weeks are when the reversals start to really show themselves. And it's super exciting. I can't wait for you to be able to see this stuff. Yeah, I'm excited. Now that we're actually documenting it this way, yeah. maybe we can start reading some of the things that are happening. I mean, when the first person's energy comes back or the first person wakes up without pain, it's so exciting when we're always celebrating together, but now we'll, we'll get to celebrate with you guys as well. Yeah, and you know what? Another thing I've learned too is love really does heal. Love is a big component. I love this woman to death. She loves me. 
And together, we love all of our group members. And so it's us taking care of all of our group members as if they're family. And I, they, they can feel that, they can sense that, and it, there's no doubt that that has a strong influence in their healing. Absolutely, they're family now. That's right.